When James Clear was in high school, a loose spat smashed right into his face. His injuries consisted of a broken nose, dangerous brain swellings, dislocated eyes, fractures, and his recovery took months. To get his own baseball career back on track, he had no choice but to rely on the power of small gains. In college, he slowly accumulated good habits and eventually managed to become one of 33 players for the All-American academic team. Today, he is one of the most popular habit researchers. In his first book, Atomic Habits, he focuses on three lessons to help you use everything he's learned to break bad habits and form good ones. Lesson number one, all habits are based on a four-step pattern, which consists of cue, craving, response, and reward. Cue refers to a piece of information that suggests there's a reward to be found, like the smell of a cookie or a dark room waiting to light up. Craving refers to the motivation to change something to get the reward, like tasting the delicious cookie. Response refers to whatever thought or action you need to take to get the reward. Reward refers to the satisfying feeling you get from the change, along with a lesson of whether to do it again or not. Lesson two, to form habits, you must make them obvious, attractive, easy, and satisfying. You can make a new habit more obvious by attaching them to habits you already have. For example, after you eat lunch, you will finish your math homework. You can make hard habits more attractive by linking an action you like with an action you need to do. For example, I will only scroll through Instagram or TikTok for 40 minutes after exercising for 40 minutes. Three. Make your good habits as easy as possible. For example, if you have a science exam that you need to study for over the weekend, put your science book, notebook, and pencil beside the bed so you have exactly what you need to begin studying that morning. And make your habits satisfying. Find some way of visually monitoring the completion of your habit. For example, once a task is finished, you can place one paper clip in a jar so that by the end of the day, you can see how much you've accomplished. Or you can create an exercise log where you write down exercises you've completed and mastered. Task completion gives you a sense of pride and fulfillment. So log it. Lesson three, a habit tracker is a fun and easy way to ensure you stick with your new behaviors. With a framework like this, making and breaking habits becomes fun. You may want to tackle multiple things sooner rather than later, but it is important not to take on too much at once. An easy way of keeping yourself accountable without becoming overwhelmed is to track your habits with a habit tracker. The idea is simple. You keep a record of all the behaviors you want to establish or abandon, and at the end of each day, you mark the ones which you succeeded with. This record can be a single piece of paper, a journal, a calendar, or a digital tool like an app. And since good habits lead to self-improvement, it's a process that we should all begin today.